and we go straight into the final of the men's 1500 meters. No time being wasted today. And going in this, the defending champion, the European champion, the Paralympic Games champion, number 1728, Michael McKillop. Superb athlete. Zulai going for China's global championship debut. You mean, you meant to say Dr. Michael McKillop after that honorary doctorate he received from the Queen's University, Belfast. Zulai is 26 years old, 446 is lifetime best. Machia Jamai of Algeria, fourth in the 15, fifth in the 800 in 2013. He's never won a major championship medal, whereas Dr. Michael McKillop has a hat for 800 champion here, and he's looking to do the double for the fifth major championship in a row. But alongside him, Brad Scott, quite a few silver medals in his career, mainly behind McKillop. He's won four silvers, the man from Perth. Mariano Dominguez of Argentina, fourth in the 800 in Christchurch. Man who made his debut in the Pan Ams from the U.S. Virgin Islands, Ivan Espinosa from Canada. Shane Dobson, his global championship debut, the 23-year-old. Another major championship debut for the Japanese, Takafumi Igusa. So McKillop, the hot favorite here, but Brad Scott, a man who's stuck close to him for as long as he's tried over the past few years. Yeah, Brad is a previous training partner of mine, and I know He's a little bit bitter over the fact that McKillop is always beating him, always having to play bridesmaid, so let's see how he goes here. Underway in the men's 1500 metres T37 final. Agusa, Dobson, Espinosa, Dominguez, Scott, McKillop, Jemai and Shulai. Brad Scott just a tuck in right at the front and the inside with McKillop on his outside. They started off alongside each other, normally one and two in the major results and major races, as was the case in the 800 meters in the last World Championships in Lyon, and as was the case at London 2012. He actually finished in third place in the 800 there, but won silver in the 15, while as McKillop did the double. And early on, Scott likes leading from the front. McKillop behind him in second place, probably suits the Irishman as well. Well, Scott leads as they move down towards the first 300 metres of this race completed. And the pace rather pedestrian at the moment, but just the two men out in front, I suspect we might be looking at at the end, unless something major comes from somewhere else. Brad Scott of Australia and Michael McKillop just on his shoulder at the moment. The Argentine Dominguez in third place and the rest of the guys bunched back, but it is a very slow pace as we go through the first 400 metres in around 111.46. So that gives you some indication of the quickening that this will need as we go towards the end. And that's happened a little bit now at Scott, it's McKillop, and they've got out now by around 30 metres or so. And these two are in a class of road, it's a big lead. It was the Argentine who was leading the chasing pack, Mariano Dominguez, back in third place. Well, it's the usual tilt for gold between these two. McKillop so successful down through the years, doing the double in Swansea at the Europeans, 2013, 2012 as well, and he concentrated on the eight in the three major championships before that. Now moving up to third place in the main pack for Algeria is Majid Jamai. But as they come through with two laps to go, it's Brad Scott, it's Michael McKillop, and it's the two front runners that we were expecting all the time, Evan O'Han. Yeah, I think what we're seeing here is that McKillop's happy to sit off Brad's shoulder, let him do some hard work, and just sit and kick because McKillop knows he's had his measure on a number of other occasions and as i said that mckillop maybe just no he's not making a move i thought for a second there he was moving up onto the shoulder of scott and here he goes into the straight well canada's shane dobson's moved up into third place but there's a group of athletes in there with the goose of japan as well and the man from argentina dominguez has dropped back somewhat now so there is a few athletes really fighting it out for third place at the moment the algerian Jimai has moved into third place as they head down that back straight, but way out in front, these two have Brad Scott of Australia and Michael McKillop. Who's gone? They love going at them, and McKillop has gone now. Will Downing call us home? Michael McKillop has put the foot down at the right time. That's the battle for third. McKillop goes out in front ahead of Brad Scott. The bell is on the way. McKillop hitting the front. Uh, seemed to catch 
quite a few of the field out. He's hit the front, and here comes the bell for Michael McKillop. He's made the move, and no matter when he tends to make the move, it's always at the right time, no matter where it is. Brad Scott in second place for Australia. Michael McKillop with so many gold medals, the big battle is for third place. And for Canada, it's Dobson who takes that. And for Algeria, it's Jemai in fourth. But it's quite remarkable that just the timing of Michael McKillop yet again. Shot away with 500, 550 to go. And he's well clear over on the back straight on this last lap. Brad Scott, pretty much the only athlete who can live with him. But 25. 30 meters down on McKillop. The final bend is on the way, and Michael McKillop has been here so many times before. It's the final bend for McKillop, and he's out in front in a major championship race. Five world titles he's won in the past, three at Paralympic Games, and it'll be the fourth major championship in a row in which Michael McKillop does the big double. He's already taken the 800, the 15,000 on the way, and McKillop gets the golden double again. The world champion once more with Brad Scott taking the silver medal for Australia for 16.20, the winning time, and shooting home in third place for Algeria is Jamai, with fourth going to Canada's Shane Dobson. It's the same two all over again, taking gold and silver, and the pattern remains the same again. Michael McKellar, world champion once more, brilliant triumph. And what a champ he is. Well, as we saw there, already with only 100 metres into the race, Scott and McKillop moved to the front and it already opened up a good lead. A good lead on the field. We've just got the last man coming in here, getting clapped home by the first and second place. Espinosa, who goes across and finishes the race off. That is very, very nice to see. The athletes waiting for him, all clapping him home. But that man is the man that everyone wants to clap, Michael McKillop. He's got the flag out, the tricolour again, after yet another major success. Well, his glory at Paralympic Games have made him a very, very big name in athletics in Ireland. And he does the latest double in the last major championships before Rio 2016. And it was quite a kick he put in because they were trotting along here and Brad Scott. And he just decided then, right, good time to go for it. But just making the way around, Scott holding the advantage all the way through, and then McKillop stepped out in front and just see the acceleration. That's where he went. And he stayed out all the way through. I think Scott would have been happy to see that pedestrian pace continue and make it a little bit more of a sprint home in possibly just the last lap or even less than that. But McKillop outsmarting him there, knowing that if he sprinted early and pushed the pace, that Brad wasn't going to be able to keep up. The latest smile. Fingers in the air. And Michael McKillop takes yet another world title. Retains his 1500, retains the golden double. A little bit of lens cleaning needed as well. Michael McKillop, world champion again in the men's 1500 meters, 416.19. Brad Scott in second place for Australia, 421.12. And Jemai in third for Algeria. A couple of continental records down the way as well for Dobson.